Hi, my name is Amber Torhune. I'm the health educator for the Johnson County Health Department. This presentation is about poliomyelitis. Poliomyelitis, or polio, is a highly infectious viral infection that attacks the nervous system. Before the vaccine became available in 1955, polio caused more than 15,000 cases of paralysis in the United States alone. The number of cases in the United States peaked in 1952 with 57,623 reported cases. Polio was eradicated in the United States in 1979, and there have been no cases in Indiana since the late 1950s. There has been more than a 99% decline in worldwide reported cases since 1988. Areas that are certified polio-free are the Americas, Europe, Western Pacific, and Southeast Asia. Polio is still persistent in Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Nigeria. Polio is spread from person to person through contact with infected feces. Less commonly, it is spread through contact with infected throat droplets, such as a sneeze or cough. It may also be transmitted through contaminated food or water, or having contact with infected items, then putting dirty hands on the mouth. The incubation period for polio infection is anywhere from 3 to 21 days. Most of those infected have no symptoms, but can still spread the virus to others. Initial mild symptoms, which are also the only symptoms for non-paralytic or abortive polio, last usually 2 to 5 days. These symptoms are commonly fever, fatigue, headache, sore throat, nausea, vomiting, and may have mild pain and stiffness. Severe symptoms in paralytic polio, which occurs in about 1% of all cases, occur within about one week. They include severe muscle pain and spasms, loss of reflexes, more neck and back pain and stiffness, muscle paralysis, and floppy and or deformed limbs. A person is contagious immediately before until about one to two weeks after symptoms appear. Polio may be diagnosed through a physical examination, including medical and travel history. It may also be done through lab tests, including feces, throat, blood, and cerebrospinal fluid samples. There is no cure for polio, so treatment focuses on easing the symptoms. This may include bed rest, pain medication, antispasmodics to relax the muscles, ventilators for breathing, physical therapy, heating pads, and pulmonary rehabilitation. Here is a picture of the iron lung. This was used in the past to help those who had paralysis of the chest muscles be able to breathe. Those at high risk of contracting polio include unvaccinated individuals, travel to or exposure to a traveler to an area with polio, and lab workers who handle the polio virus. Those at high risk for complications from polio include pregnant women, those who are immunocompromised, and children younger than five years of age. Possible complications may include bone deformities, meningitis, which occurs in about one out of 25 cases, paralysis, which may be temporary or permanent, and one in 200 infections lead to irreversible paralysis, and 5 to 10% of those with paralysis die when the breathing muscles are mobilized. Post-polio syndrome, or PPS, can occur in 25 to 40 percent of polio survivors 15 to 40 years after recovery. Symptoms of PPS include continuing muscle and joint weakness, muscle pain and atrophy, trouble breathing and swallowing, sleep-related breathing problems, low cold temperature tolerance, depression, fatigue, and concentration and memory trouble. PPS is not contagious. Another possible complication of polio is death due to the paralysis of the breathing muscles. This occurs in about 2 to 10 out of 100 children with polio paralysis. A doctor should be consulted before traveling to an area where polio was found. You should also see the physician if you have been exposed to or potentially exposed to an infection and you are susceptible or symptomatic, or if you had polio years ago and are now having symptoms of post-polio syndrome. The best method for preventing polio is through vaccination. OPV, or oral polio vaccine, was previously used in the United States and is still used in other parts of the world. 
IPV, or inactivated polio vaccine, is the shot that has been used exclusively in the United States since 2000. IPV is about 99% effective after completing the series. It is recommended to be given at age 2 and 4 months, between 6 to 18 months, and at 4 to 6 years of age. Make sure you are up to date before traveling to areas where polio is still found. Fully vaccinated adults may still need one booster shot. Unvaccinated or incomplete vaccinated adults should complete the series. Young children may be placed on an accelerated schedule. Indiana requires four doses for all kindergarten through 12th grade enrollment. You should also avoid others if you are infected. Stay home from work or school while contagious and be sure to wash your hands often. This completes the presentation on polio. If you have any questions or concerns, please see your doctor, call your local health department, or visit any of these websites for further information. Thank you.